Hello, but oh. Don't you just hate it when you knock over tin cans with paintbrushes in them? They've either got water in them or turpentine from when you've been painting. You probably don't knock it over at the time, but you come back a bit later on into the workshop and knock the damn thing over when you're doing something else. Well, to this end, I've come up with this. The tin bum. The can is magnetically held to it and it increases the size of the base, so knocking it over doesn't become a problem. Let me show you how I made it. So I've coloured in my lettering here and I'm ready to fix the last magnet. Here's a couple of things I've learnt about these magnets. Do not drop or over tighten the screws in them. If you do that, the magnets will shatter. They break really easily, so just nip it up and no more. It's now time for a test. Need I say more? Well, I hope you've enjoyed that, and we'll make a tin bum of your very own. I'll put a link in the description box below to where I purchased the magnets for this project. They're 20 millimeters in diameter, three millimeters thick, with a hole in the center. Now, you don't need to make it out of plastic as I did. My prototype was made from plywood and worked perfectly fine. I did learn a couple of things from it. First off, a magnet in the centre is not sufficient to hold the tin can in place. You really need the three. The other thing is, don't measure the top of the can. The bottom of the can is actually smaller, as they're designed to stack one inside the other. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like it. Subscribe to me on YouTube. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. In the meantime, Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you later. Cheers!